So we finally, finally have it. We've got our hands on the sandbuck. And if we have a look in the codex for it, it has a perk called Scorch. It's a DPS ship, but Scorched deals 5,000 burning damage when you apply the ablaze effect to an enemy ship. And the blaze will be applied to enemies in a radius of 150 meters. And it increases damage to ships that have the ablaze effect by 50%. So this is an absolute beast providing you set it up properly. And if we go to our uh, manage ship menu, if we go to the furniture first, we have rope locker just so that it increases acceleration because this isn't the fastest ship. Then in slot two, we have volatile fuel so that we increase the charge rate of the ablaze effect on enemy ships by 10%. Then we have increasing damage to enemy ships that have the ablaze effect by 10%. We then have the elemental damage multiplier of the sea fire by 19%, and we have front weapon damage increased by 10%. In terms of the armor, I'm still running Royal Custodian on all of my ships. If you guys want to get your hands on that armor, there is a video on the channel for it. And in terms of the weapons, this has taken me a long, long time to get my hands on. But I do have the blue spectre, which you can get from the ghost ship. And again, if you guys want to farm the ghost ship, there is a video for it on the channel. And then in the other slots, we have the fire bombard. I've got fire bombard tier two on the sides. And then on the back of the ship, I've got the fire bombard three, just because it deals that incendiary damage. So we can set targets ablaze. And then in the auxiliary slot, even though I'm not a fan of the rocket launchers, you kind of just have to use this on this ship. We have the termites tier three because it deals burning damage and it is incredible if you can land your shots with it it's quite tough with the camera angle to fire it so the ship is rank 10 what we're going to do is set sail from t lock penjara we are going to go and take down some enemy ships the thing i really really like about this has to be the blue spectre it's so powerful with all of the furniture on and it's just it's the highest level or highest tier sea fire that you can actually get so if we try and find some enemy ships, they're all going to be around level 8 in this. And for PvP, this is amazing. If you can get up close, as long as there's not too many ships. I think if you're coming across multiple ships, then it's definitely not a good idea to really use this. Because it doesn't have the biggest amount of health or anything like that. The stamina is quite good in it. It's nowhere near as bad as the Brigantine. And I believe we've got, there's a ship around here that we can uh, go and take down. So the first thing I like to do is get close enough to like drop my rocket launcher on their head and then i uh, go in with the front attack with the blue specter so if we can get to this ship over here i mean no that's a tier six rogue merchant we'll leave that one we'll find another one here we go so we've got a level eight dominion of Rampart skirmisher and i'm going to try and get close enough to uh to take this down and when it comes to these videos i don't show pvp because oftentimes when i do pvp events nobody else joins them so uh, if we absolutely slam that with the rocket launcher and then we go in with the sea fire, just <laughs> look at how quick that's destroyed. It is stupid because of the ablaze damage. That ship lasted, what, like two seconds? So we've got a couple of level sevens. I don't know if they're chasing me, but it seems as though they're, like, they're coming in my direction. So I'm going to have to deal with them. So if we, uh, we can start off with the fire bombards. You get four of them in each uh, slot on the sides. And then if we go over, we're going to take a little bit of damage. But if we uh, get that blue spectre doing this thing, <laughs> yeah, these ships are, uh, they're, they're not going to last at all. And yes, granted, my ship is level 10. They're only level 7. But it just shows you how easy it is. Like with ships that are a few levels underneath you, you're not going to have any problems at all. And it's going to be the same for the ships that are level 9 and 10 anyway. Like it's just going to take a little bit longer to take them down, but it's still pretty much as easy. So here we go. We've got a level 9 privateer. This one's going to be a lot tougher. It's armoured, but I'm going to go and take it down just to show you guys a ship that's not level 7. This one's a lot closer to our level. The problem is these privateers, they hit like trucks. So this ship has basically no defence whatsoever. So I need to keep an eye on my health and I need to just take it easy. Because we're still going to be able to get rid of this. It's just going to be a lot tougher than... Other standard ships you would fight in PvE. So uh, can we get the range to uh, hit that with the rocket launcher? I'm hoping and praying they hit. They are hitting. They're setting it on fire. I don't think we were close enough when I started firing the blue spectre, but we'll still do it. There's the explosion for it. And now we're going to come in with the bombards as well. And then let's get round to the back to get the 
uh, tier three fire bombard. We only get two of those, but it's still uh, still very decent. Torps coming our way. Brace. And then uh, restore our stamina. Get the fire bombard going again. Get the, uh, the rockets going. I need to brace as well. And there's another explosion for the ship. And uh, we can uh, crew boards to finish it off or just let it sink. We missed with our uh, ropes. But yeah, there you go. So I lost quite a bit of health. I did lose about a third of it. But obviously we can just use a repair kit. And with the Royal Custodian Armor, you get Fortified, which gives you 35% extra armor for 12 seconds. So uh, yeah, an armored level 9 privateer is still an absolute breeze to take down. You just plan it with the fire bombards. You get in there with the uh, blue specter when you can. And uh, yeah, there's, there's going to be pretty much nothing that can help DPS you. The biggest problem is going to be when it comes to PvP and you're against Briggs and the players are just sailing away because they've got that extra speed. And also it's not that easy to get hold of some of these weapons. You can use standard sea fires, you can use the standard rocket launchers and stuff. It's just I've been lucky enough to get my hands on the blue spectre from the ghost ship and also I got the termites 3 when I stole someone's treasure map. <laughs> so obviously the uh, legendary treasure map, they were like 300 meters away from the outpost and I just fast traveled there because I joined the event and uh, I jumped down with the sandbuck, I melted them, nicked the treasure map, went into the uh, outpost, claimed it got the termites three and also got myself the rigging station so that when my ship is below like if i wanted to put that major furniture on when my ship is below 20 percent health it repairs one percent health automatically every single second so the rigging station's there so it's entirely up to you with how you play it you could put the rigging station on i just like the extra acceleration because i don't do too much pvp stuff and when it comes to pve like you get a much bigger window of opportunity to use a repair kit but that was my Pyromaniac or my Sandbuck build in Skull and Bones. I absolutely love this, especially with the Blue Spectre on the front. It destroys everything in PvE and it doesn't have too much trouble in PvP. The biggest problem you're going to have is if there are like groups of enemies that are coming towards you. It's not that great for groups. Although the Fire Bombard's not bad. And what we're going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this build in the comments. I will see you guys on the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.